Hi everyone, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on how to break free from poverty. This video is a powerful message on poverty and it is going to bless you greatly. Let your heart be open to receive and stay connected to this video production. God bless you. Thank you. Do you know poverty is not lack of money? Poverty is the influence of demonic spirits upon your mind that hinders you from obeying the principles of God as regards your finances. Hallelujah. The economic principle of God is tied to the law, the law of sowing and reaping. Genesis chapter 8 verse 26, 22. He told Noah, he said, as far as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Shall not cease. Hallelujah. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. No matter how much anointing oil you bring, even if they draw a cross on your whole body, there are principles. Are you listening to me? Malachi chapter 3. That's the foundation on which the blessing of the Lord in the life of a believer is hinged on. From verse 8, it says, Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? I hope you know he was talking to his covenant nation, Israel. He was not speaking to the hidden nation. Will a man rob God? He said, Wherein have we robbed me? He says, but he said, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and what? Say after me, tithes and offerings. The Bible says, verse 9, it says you are cursed with a curse. Listen, this one is not the curse of the law. It's the curse of disobedience and robbery. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Verse 10. It says, Bring ye all. How many? Help me, follow me. How many? Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. It says, And prove me, test me. I stake my reputation at this. Here we said the Lord of hosts, if I will not, blessing number one, open the windows of heaven. The last time the windows of heaven were open, we saw that quails and manna fell. He said, prove me if I will not open the windows of heaven. Open heavens. Number two, and pour you out a blessing, not many blessings you out a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive blessing number three it says and i will rebuke the only place in scripture where god says i will handle satan for you other parts he said Res resist the devil and he will flee but this one it says on account of being a faithful tighter i will rebuke the devourer there are many families that what they are suffering is the activity of the devourer they thought it was because they didn't have job now your father got a job now he's even a director nothing has changed that's the devourer the moment you receive your salary that's when everybody in your village is sick and then it just goes the moment the money is finished they become well by themselves no prayer no no oil no nothing it's called the devourer You buy a new car. You say, let me just test it. And you come back with only the glass of the car. Because of a fatal accident that happened somewhere. That's called a devourer. Are you listening to me? A devourer. 
it says and he that means the devourer is a person not a thing still talking about the devourer and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast her fruit before her time in the field saith the lord verse 12 it says and all nations shall do what that's a testimony they will give about your life all nations shall testify that you are blessed he said for ye shall be a delightsome land Bula, a delightsome land these are the seven prophetic blessings that follow titus every time you talk about anything believers are excited the moment you talk about finances everybody just starts looking for things to do handkerchief to clean their face um I, do you have biro when you don't respect the principles of god he will not honor you are you listening to me so this is not just the issue of prayer many stingy believers want to cover the place of tithing for prophet offering prophet offering is not tithing i don't care if you give the prophet your whole life that's not tithe a tithe is a 10 portion let me shock many of you i'm going to say something that would disturb your spirit small your tithe is not 20 percent of your income your tithe is 10 percent period and full stop many men of god teach plenty because more money will come tithe is 10 percent obedience is better than sacrifice hallelujah where god calls a man and gives him a rema to give 90 percent of his tithe you cannot teach that as a theory to the church because it's not the universal character of god this is a rema that one person was sectioned out are you listening to me so many believers believe that when you don't tithe and the devourer comes you just run to a man of god and buy two new shoes what is your size 44 and then you just drop and say please pray for me no listen listen let me tell you something men of god are not herbalists although some are but real men of god are not herbalists so you don't try to bend spiritual principles using the anointing as an excuse i don't have much me that they are giving me two thousand listen don't say the day i have money i will give you will never have it is your giving that will take you to that point so number one tithing bishop redeco calls it your kingdom insurance hallelujah number two is your giving luke 6 38 give and it shall be given unto you let me give you my version don't give and what will happen say it it will not be given unto you period and full stop there is no point wasting your time asking don't give and it shall not be given unto you your the lives of our family members are testimonies to this scripture their greed and stingy nature has kept them hey, will it be enough for me every time god wants to bless you he compels something to leave you read your bible we jump those places we jump them and just read the end of the story and the blessings that follow are you following me now miracle service ah philippians 4 19 paul says my god shall supply hold on he was talking to give us start reading from verse 12 don't jump to verse 19. start reading from verse 12. those who committed themselves to give and paul said my god many of you say my god shall supply my need that blessing is from a receiver to a giver paul said my god shall supply your needs you who have given but many of us you are the giver you are the receiver my god shall supply my needs uh -uh. read your bible that's not what it says no matter who you are let me tell you something god is no respecter of persons but is a respecter of his principles make up your mind that you will begin to tithe but i've been tithing for one year i didn't see any results continue the bible says if the cloud be full of rain they will empty themselves are you listening to me be committed don't come to the house of god empty-handed i know there are ministers that have 
turn the whole money thing everything in church is money 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 you sow for everything everything even teaching that you don't understand you just run and come and drop seed i'm not against coming to drop seed are you listening to me i'm just saying that god is more interested in our growth than our religion hallelujah very important when you tithe and you give whenever you hear that there is a project in the house of god don't keep quiet and say ah these people want to eat our money again no no take it seriously solomon said i will not give god what will cost me nothing the bible says he he bought a land and offered therein a thousand bond offerings and the bible says that same night not the next day he didn't send an angel god himself came and said solomon you have touched me the bible says gather unto me my people they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice if you are not an ardent giver forget about increase are you getting blessed tonight you see that this is not just the issue of fasting and prayer or confessing the word of god you must do many of us are tight as you only tight once then after four months you think god is afraid of you let me tell you something if jesus if god the father did not spare jesus when he became a sinner he will not spare you we need to understand this jesus turned to the father and said eloi eloi lamak sabak tanai and the father did not respond hallelujah righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne so your first determination tonight is that you will become a tighter buy envelopes don't look for it when the money comes your needs are plenty buy envelopes your tight is not your last 10 percent when you do everything you just calculate uh, 170 2005 85 then you just check your pocket some of you come to give tight let me teach you how to give tight don't just squeeze money and put in your pocket and while they are praying you are just checking and 200 naira comes to push it down you bring 100 naira and say god knows it's 1000 and then you stand the bible says honor the lord it is a gift to the lord your tight bring it to honor the lord how do you honor someone when you cook food to honor somebody you put it in your heart and say taste and see if it's sweet you package it are you listening to me buy envelopes as soon as money comes into your hands you may not be able to give tithes of 200 300 400 but this is what i do some of those little little amounts you can't pick out tithes from 10 errors one error so when a bulk amount comes i remove and by faith i remove what i call a representative fraction i say lord i know that i was within the range of one to five thousand naira that came as miscellaneous i'm adding this 500 naira by faith and I'm releasing it to cover for it. Are you listening to me? Be faithful in your tithing. We live in a hostile country, people. Don't you think that your lack of adherence to God's word will be good for you? Begin to build, send vapor to the cloud right now. Let your clouds be full. So that when you begin to step out, it will begin to rain. Hallelujah one last thing i'll talk about for finance and then i'm done the bible never said god will send money from heaven there have been a few miracles like that in the fish and the rest but they didn't happen many times meaning it will happen many times that way in your life you open your wallet one day and saw one thousand it will not continue to happen every day that was a miracle to salvage you encourage you and show you god's love hallelujah when you tithe and you give listen to me the heavens are open over you the favor of god comes upon you let me tell you something the favor of god does not bring you financial freedom the favor of god sets you on a pace and brings seed for you brings wisdom for you brings the connection for you it is your application of the principles of god that's why you can give and say ah a breakthrough happened somebody called me and they gave me a job somebody called me and they gave me a 10 million naira that's not all you need in this life 
that's a seed that is supposed to meet wisdom that is already waiting and it should change your life are you listening to me the place of diligence in building yourself there are many of us that all of the laws of finances we have neglected them i have been shouting this thing for years you will never get blessed above your mindset god himself will stop you from getting there there are many stingy and greedy people they know nothing about money there are many ministries they know nothing about financial planning they know nothing about leadership and corporate finance and administration yet they want god to bless them with one billion he will not it doesn't work that way let me show you something quickly matthew 25 i shared this scripture somewhere i think i was talking to a few people let me show you something very interesting and then we'll wrap i want us to really receive i don't just want us to come and laugh and rejoice it's not fair you are spending your time some of us are coming from far and from near matthew 25 are you there it says then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto what then the first revelation is they are all virgins are you listening to me so the story is about 10 virgins not five virgins and five other castaways or prostitutes ten virgins it says they took their lambs thy word is a word lamb to my feet and a light to my path that means they had the word of god are you listening to me they had the word of god let's read on and went forth to meet the bridegroom verse two five of them were wise so ten of them took lambs but the bible says five were wise and five were foolish although they were virgins although they were believers although they were the bride of the bridegroom the bible says five were wise five were foolish read on and they that were foolish this is what they did that made them foolish they took lambs so they had the word of god are you listening to me but the bible says and they took no oil with it i hope you know the lamp was burning when you read from amplified it tells you extra oil not just oil there was already oil hallelujah that's a type of the inspiration the anointing the grace of the spirit but the wise took extra oil in their vessels not the lamb but the bible says we have this uh, this treasure in where now he said they took extra oil in their vessels follow me i want to show you a powerful revelation the bible says the foolish ones were myopic they took their lamp they did not know that it requires more oil because it's burning the bible says the wise ones took extra there are things god is giving you now that are extra they don't look spiritual but these are the extra oil when you tithe when you give god opens you those extra ideas those extra information you just step into a bookstore and you see a book management and god is saying buy it he said but god i'm a faithful usher god is saying get it extra oil the foolish people say no i'm just looking for anointing if it's anointing and five ways to study your bible god is saying get those extra oil listen this is very important the bible says some got extra oil some did not and all of them went in watch what happened all of them slept because they were waiting for the bridegroom and he didn't come the bible says at a particular point there was a shout and they said rise up the bridegroom is here what happened because it had been burning those who had extra oil in their vessels did what they found out that there was an emergency situation and so they had to take advantage of the extra oil are you listening to me and now they began to pour it and the alarm came back and those who were foolish what happened to them the bible says they had no oil they had lamp the lamp was burning but it was about to die and it was it was obvious that it was not enough to sustain them till the arrival of the bridegroom guess what happened in any case you will still buy that extra vessel the trouble is when they began to say help us the people say no we cannot help you we got enough for ourselves they say go to the buyers that means the buyers were always there but the people neglected it when the buyers were marketing 
and saying come and buy extra oil I say no 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 are you not seeing how bright my lamp is they say it may not make sense now we don't know how long the bridegroom will stay they say no no he will come now are you getting blessed when the lord showed me this it opened me up everything god leads me to i don't play again if god says learn something about sweeping go ahead you're a man of god but learn it extra oil are you listening to me the bible says to a point that there will be no room to contain it because a day will come when the lamp of many will be growing dim paul had his knowledge of the jewish culture a time came it was not his anointing that saved him are you listening to me the romans were going to beat him and he said hold on let me tell you people something in the midst of the heat and the suffering hallelujah he began to prophesy in the midst of all of these things he began to speak what did he say he said i am a jew he said let me tell you i was trained under gamaliel a pharisee to the core ah they suddenly that was his extra oil a time came when he escaped in the and they went to an island called melita after the angel appeared to him and he said there shall be no loss there was no church and nobody to support him because they were actually taking him to kill him the bible says he went to, to his tent making and suddenly his tent making sustained him and he bought a house with it these were some of the extra oils are you listening to me get your extra oil get your extra oil because the revival that is going to happen let me tell you something the bible says see it thou a man diligent in his business he shall not stand before me men he shall stand before kings he said the gift of a man when you begin to tithe god grants you opportunities for your gifts to rise up can i say something very honestly many men of god even those who are rich don't know why they are rich that's why they are not teaching their congregation correctly the men do not understand of course ministry is not business are you getting me but watch this if assuming aaron come please assuming aaron is a ceo of a company and he's sick and dying are you listening to me okay thank you very much hallelujah and then i lay hands on him and he gets healed are you listening to me and then he decides to say man of god the money i would have gone to the hospital with the hundred million i sow into your life watch this is it not the gift of god that work in a man who has disciplined himself to find it and he has he has brought it to meet a need is that correct are you listening to me and because the bible says he shall not stand before me men he receives the reward many of the men of god think it's because they are preachers that they are getting blessed the answer is no they have paid the price and they have built something are you listening to me i am blessing is that correct i am doing something to your mind god is going to use us to heal you and so when you come to honor us is the same thing that happens when somebody packages a product and goes to give someone and he is blessed for it are you listening to me because the way men of god teach they teach it in such a way that everybody wants to be a man of god because they have made it look like if you're a man of god you cannot get blessed what of the person who is not called into a fivefold ministry how did god package his finances are you listening to me the gift of a man don't let anybody deceive you the gift of a man god will use your witty inventions god will use your giftings god will use your ideas and he will grant you grace and the anointing of the spirit is upon it and he will open you up to an endless realm of blessings say amen god bless you sir after you have done all of this then you can now begin to pray and speak the word and say lord i speak increase to my finances and then follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise let me tell you brothers and sisters there is no other way i know in the bible that you will arrive to lasting blessings even for your family no matter how hard working you are if you are not a tighter you are in trouble no matter how much you are tighter you are if you are not diligent to open yourself to other areas of christ and other areas of the wisdom of his word you will not receive anything the bible says get wisdom get understanding he said exalt and she shall promote you she shall put an end an ornament of glory a crown of glory upon your head where thou dost embrace her he said i riches dwell with prudence then i have knowledge of witty inventions he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched 
let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you